turn on the show. It's yep. at the top. <laughs> Thank you to the person who sees the tea. Mm-hmm. And another one says savage. I don't know what that means. Why would you send me oh. something that says savage? There's, it must be somebody that knows me. I'll be forgetting. Let me know when we're on. We're on, so I stop. Yeah, we on. Yeah, we on. Oh. I'll be forgetting that you ain't from here. <laughs> what does that have yes. to do with you? Know, I'm telling you, somebody that. see like somebody sent you something that says "savage" on it, and you like, I don't know why they would send it, and I'm like, I know exactly. No, I know why. why. <laughs> I was being, I was being sarcastic. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. It was like, yeah. I exactly. No, that one. See, I don't know. I don't I'm know. What it I'm means. gonna say it a lot. I have no clue what it means. Oh, it means several things. Yikes. Yeah, yikes but really never cool. what I wanted, what I think it means. I try to use it. What do you it's think it means? Though. Ew. It can mean. Depending on the context. But then when I try to use it, they said, no, not here. Or when I try to use yeah, that one time. Yeah, she tried to use it with sign, it just didn't go. Yeah. So, yeah, that makes sense. What? It didn't make sense. At all. It's okay. Right. Hey, everybody, look, you the only one that looks. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I 
Hey, man, y'all uh, give us some hearts or some likes or something. Let us know if you can hear us. Uh, and I'll have a thumbs up, whatever you want to do. Yeah, that helps. Yes. Thank you, people on Facebook and a few people on Instagram. Uh, so, yeah, thank y'all for tapping in with us. Uh, we are live. Uh, it's been a minute. We had a little, we had a little break. Focus on vacation, they have time for us, but you know, I ain't even mad because I would have done the same thing. And we all need to rest and recharge, but we are back. It feels very good to be up in here. I'm tired. It's been a goddamn Monday today. That's for sure. But we hope y'all having a great Monday, though. Uh, we got Merc up in here. Say hey to the people, Merc. Man, fuck with a real nigga, man. I'm here. <laughs> Oh, shit. And we have a magnificent special guest with us this evening, hair flip and all that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be calm. <laughs> we on we on live. I'm gonna be cool. Pia, say what up to the people, Pia. Hi. Pia. I'm I'm you happy to be here. Pronounce yes. your entire name. So Pia is not my name at all. Okay. It's yeah. not my government government name at all. What's, your, what's your real name? Nabila is the first name. Mm-hmm. Najar is the last name. We don't have middle names back home. Ah, so why do they call you Pia? It's a, a baby. One of my cousins used to mispronounce my name before she learned how to talk, and it stuck. How do you get Pia out of the It's the baby. She was like eight months, you know, <laughs> something, and it just stuck. <laughs> Seriously, that's how we. That's how we start. <laughs> So, tonight, so we got we go we call you by your 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 uh your handle name, Pia the Trainer. No, Pia from, Pia from Pia the Motherland. Pia the Trainer. Pia the Trainer from the Motherland. It doesn't even sound good. Pia from the Motherland. Pia, Pia the Trainer. That's like a builder. <laughs> like, it, like it sound, man, it sound like she good with her hands. <laughs> right. Pia the Carpenter. <laughs> Bro. Uh, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I'm a bad girl. Don't do it. Don't do it. There's so much I want to say. I'm just trying to say it. I'm going to be What good. you want to say? I'm curious. I'm good. I'm good. Let me tell you. Nope. He could say a lot. She read. She read. Nope. 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 Absolutely. Bro. I agree. Oh, uh, yeah. So. Pia brought us some. some thing, one, one of the things that. uh. Pia does well is she bakes like really really well she brought us some some delicious treats well we shared it but it really was but we shared it with people as a matter of fact fun fact uh if you have been to oops all vegan and you've eaten something sweet there oh so you be doing that this is the person who is who has made your dessert for you yep vegan cakes vegan cakes so you just make them and send them there and they just, they, they. Either uh, Marcus picks them up or I go deliver and then they sell them. I sell them the whole cakes and they yeah, sell yeah. them to the customers. Dang. This probably shouldn't be saying this here because I'm not supposed to. I'm supposed to sell to the final customer, but you know, the, yeah. Don't even worry about it. I don't know why, but some, cause somebody <laughs> might hit you up. Yeah. I make cakes and vegan cakes. There you go. There you go. Like, so for the folks who don't eat, you know, regular people cake. Regular people cake. Low carb cake. cake too. Bougie people cake. <laughs> you know, this, you know, vegans think they're better than everybody. I mean, it's the gluten free. They, that think that they're better than everybody. But you can still be gluten free. Gluten free and dairy free. That's true. Oh, okay. I mean, all of it give you gas. Yeah, it don't oh my god. Man, <laughs> all right. Uh, so, yeah. First of all, man, thank you to everyone who uh kind of tapped in with us wherever we were we were all over the place this past weekend so uh shout out to the folks in uh jackson uh at the weekend uh had a great after party to the uh dinner in blanc event which was which was really really great shout out to stephen james and, and all the other good people who uh had a lot to do with the lebron jones uh so yeah so thank y'all for tapping in at that party, and then we had another day party yesterday uh, at Chemistry Shop, Cujo Nasty Show. Uh, had a great time. So, 
So uh, thank y'all for coming out to that. And then for the good folks who was in Louisiana checking out the Born Funny Tour. Uh, thank y'all for tapping in with Merck, Rita B, and uh, Nardo. So, you know, they went down there and did, did what they do. So shout out to everybody, man. It's just been a... Uh, been a busy ass weekend, but it's been a really, really good weekend. So yeah, we appreciate y'all tapping in with us. And of course, tonight uh, we will be recording episode 19 of the Vibe Controls Podcast. 19, yeah, 19. 19. So we in college. Uh, Technically, it's episode 38. Yeah. Well, you know, 19 plus 11. No. Wait. No. Why? Every episode. What was 30. it? Because we did eleven episode thirty. We, we, uh, 30 we, end, we do see we end seasons and double digits, so cause like numbers. So we do eleven episodes, then we we'll end this one on twenty two. But okay. yeah, so we nineteen, so technically we in college. So shout out Stephen Brown, he's in college. Uh, I don't know what they got to do with it. Fuck that job. <laughs> We don't say that. You better help. Hey, yeah, yeah, listen. You, you better get your kids to college where you can. Yeah, yeah. So uh, again, our purpose here for real. We got Pia in the building, man. She's gonna be on the podcast tonight. We're gonna be talking about like uh, health and fitness and all those. good Look, things. it just sounds so talking. messed up because you just the only thing that you said about me is that I bake cakes. Well, I was gonna. And then all of a sudden, we're here to talk about health and fitness. It's, it's well, you bake like vegan cakes, cake. so niggas think that's healthy. So that's that. Uh, I'm just saying, niggas do think that's vegan healthy. Yeah, they're not. I know, but you know, I'm gonna give you an opportunity to tap in with the people. Just introduce yourself, tell them a little bit about yourself, or whatever you want to tell them. Yeah, so I'm here to talk about health and fitness because I'm a trainer, because I'm a personal trainer, not because I can bake cakes. <laughs> I'm a good plus. <laughs> I mean, it does help, and I believe that it's they can go together, definitely. Mm. I'm a IFBB pro, professional bodybuilder, in my off season right now, which is why I can cake, I can um, eat this tonight. <laughs> and yeah, we're here because I think I know a little something about workouts and food and how to be healthy and look okay. And to dispel a bunch of rumors. Yes. Yeah, about, yes, and myths and about working out and, and all that other stuff. About wow. food, about some uh, accessories that are used, mm. like mm. waist trainers and juices and, and yeah. all that. Because I was sure about to ask you, because I, I do see lots of, like people in general, not just women, you know, using those waistbands or things like that to work out with. And it's like, is that healthy? Like, does it work? Depends for what. Uh, the goal that a lot of people say they have wearing a waist trainer is to make their waist smaller and to lose body fat. For mm. that, the waist trainer doesn't do shit. Nothing. Uh, mm. When you wear it, it does compress you, so obviously, yeah, you're gonna look good. It looks nice, right? Yeah. You have a smaller waist, but then as soon as you take it out, take the, the waist trainer off, your waist goes back to how it was before. Losing body fat, there is no way to lose body fat using something that comes from outside. Uh, the only way to, to lose body fat is to not eat too much and exercise. Mm. That's it. That's the only way. So does it matter? I assume it matters what you eat, though. Yeah. Okay, because that's my problem. It does matter. Now, I mean, if you're if you're surviving every day on one stick of butter, and it's butter. There's literally studies that were made trying this, having people eat stick of butter. I don't know how much calories it has, but definitely not enough to survive all day. Yeah. Those people still lost weight, although it was butter because they weren't eating enough calories. Right. But how you look is not going to be nice. Yeah. For you to look a certain way, you do have to eat a certain way. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Scary ass stick of butter. Stick of butter. Stick of butter. They did that with chocolate. They had people eat chocolate every day. Just who, not too much who chocolate. Agreed to eat. I I I do the one with the chocolate. 
Like just every day? Butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we talking about a stick of butter every day. We talking about just a stick. I ain't finna agree to eat no damn blue bun. Yeah, they they gonna have that chick I'm guessing it get paid. Yeah, I was about to say that chick had to be real good. But yeah, they did blood. it. I remember when they did that, it was My about hurt. 10 years ago Staying when I watched it. Breath. Yeah, absolutely. Uh. They did that with chocolate and then they did that with other healthy things. And everybody lost weight as long as they uh, ate the same amount of calories yeah. between each other in the groups. But they looked different. Mm-hmm. Somebody that had a healthy diet with meat and veggies and all a certain way, the people that lost the weight eating butter yeah. looked different. And of course, on a long run, it's absolutely not something you should do. It's, it's not healthy at all. And other folks look sick out here. They tear because they just ate butter and just bite out of flabby and shit. And that's all they weigh. But I mean, I'm sure both of y'all eat a lot more than a stick of butter in a regular yeah, diet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just the idea of eating it alone that's not really... That doesn't need, that's not even appealing. Yeah, but you eat a whole lot more than... I know you do. Oh, yeah, but I, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get to the cake. <laughs> <laughs> we do have to open it before we get off live. So oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. We're going to see it. We want people to see it, man. Oh, okay, yeah, once you open it, open Damn them folks. Oh, we eat it. <laughs> I'm standing. Damn. That's how, you, that's how you do the presentation and everything. Oh, yeah. Are we Are we eating now? No, not yet. Man. I mean, if you, I don't care. Come on. We got time. Come on. Yeah, let's eat. Yeah. We're going to eat enough for y'all. Let me tell you. Let me, y'all then eat then we'll talk about how y'all need to eat healthy. That's right. Because you the brother. Because <laughs> she came ain't, over here. I ain't even talking about that. Yeah, this man dove this damn machete. <laughs> I didn't tell you about that. Yeah. What happened? When I opened the door, she was like, who lives here? Who lives here? I was here? like, she got the door. Look at this. Look at this. You was here by yourself? No, I was here. I mean, I mean, I was back here. That man, was dead. he was good at dead. <laughs> I'm saying, typically, you probably be like, you know, Ooh, look at this. You be like, what's up, oh. you know, pee at your door. Like, who <laughs> With the knife. You like, all the muscles <laughs> open up your door. <laughs> right. I kill you like this. Hey, it'd be so, it'd be so funny, funny, bro. It. Like, oh, you got to show it. Can y'all see yeah. that? Can y'all? They probably, it's, I don't give a fuck. They, yeah. yeah be good. It's half and half because oh, yeah. he asked yeah. for Oreo and yeah. he asked for, um, I asked, yeah, yeah, I and I'm about to eat both. Hey, let me tell y'all, bro. Working out with PL be so fun. Like we be literally getting it in and talking about, ooh, tonight I deserve pizza. <laughs> ooh, some ribs sound real good right now. Hurry up, hurry up, it's still your set. <laughs> I'm like, man, I'm gonna go get some Chinese food. Let me go home and get some taco. Man, I gotta do push ups just watching. Man, I'm telling you, with that. Oh, that be working out, Lord. Yeah, oh, mercy. And then you gonna serve. And then you gonna serve. Let me tell you. Let me tell you now. Yeah, we gotta risk it. Up. <laughs> you you serving me some food? We go together. <laughs> yeah. Real bad. We've been together. Real bad. We go together. We've been together. People think we go together. You know, we work out together and oh, stuff. Yeah. So I told you. We go together. You know, I said, I said, listen, we can. <laughs> I said, if, if she ain't. If she ain't married by 40, we, 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 we gonna go and get married. We gonna move in together mm-hmm. and I can do what I want to do. Whatever she want to do. He can do what he want to do. He ain't got to cook it. Let me do this. Yeah, yeah. They right. can't come in like the house. Yeah. That's all I need. Yeah, we live in the same house, pick, help each other with the bills and live her mm-hmm. respective lives, right? Yeah, you're right. Y'all, y'all, best you gonna have a, y'all best gonna have a modern disagreement. An agreement. An agreement. Man, yes. we friends. I don't care what those girls do. I would love a piece. A small side. piece of, of you know, like really. I need you to see. I wish y'all could see the inside. Oh, oh. with that. Can't. Ah. Can't see the inside. Hey man. Live. So I was. It was after day. After day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ooh, after day. You know what? <laughs> I'm about to use that. Too. So I came up with. I came up with another word. Right, right. I'm gonna <laughs> tell you when I get out of this lab because it might offend some folks. So, really? Yeah. How bad is it? This ain't reference. This is it right here. <laughs> it's moist. Mm-hmm. Taste the flavor. Oh, you sound like an actual. Mm-hmm. I'm a food yeah, you eat good now. I'm something like a food now. Got you. Mm. Y'all want to know where to eat at in Jackson? My, my mouth is watering. Mm-hmm. Where to eat at in Jackson? Not my house. Well, that meat. Hey, let me mm-hmm. say this. Right she, she, she can cook too. Thanksgiving, bless me. Wow. 
I hope you good and getting back. You, you know, know it's not folks, always. It ain't always. Right? I was gonna say it ain't case. always like that. Mm-hmm. So but cook. it's it's way harder to bake than to cook. So usually, you, love you can eat too. That's for him. Oh, and I'm not finna eat all of it. <laughs> yes, you are. Yeah, once you bite it, I bet you are. We know. We supposed to bite it. Don't let that fall off the side. The look, the look, the glade, the juice. Don't let that fall off the side. He just loves juice. You know, thank you. Let me tell you. Thank you, Miss Lady. Thank you, Miss Lady. So good. Today I have on Jasmine, Jasmine something, mm-hmm. Jasmine some some French thing my sister brought me mm-hmm. some expensive stuff from Paris. Okay, y'all fine. Gucci y'all. like that. Okay. Right. I just need your help right now. We are need to be. So listen, mm-hmm. how do I say in every language you speak? This pie good as a motherfucker. <laughs> do I have to say it's a motherfucker? Yeah, for sure. Cause I won't know how to cut it. Ce gâteau est bon sa mère. This is French. Uh, I don't, I don't even know what she said. <laughs> French. That sounds like the name your mother. Uh, <laughs> 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 right. It's French. That sounds like the name your mother. Okay. That was that sound. Esto es tan delicioso como su puta madre. I know that. <laughs> That's me. Because you can't always, yeah, translate them literally. That, I heard the now, my wife said that. Arabic, oh my yeah. God, this is going to be your Algerian. It's zippy. You don't even need to say anything. Oh, okay. It's zippy at the lips. We're going to say it for the show. We're going to get you to end the episode saying we out here in all the different languages. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's going to be your This is like... They were perfect consistency. Yeah, Cause I don't like really yeah. dense cheese. Oh, come on! Yeah. Like oh my like God! Like, you know? Wait. Like when you. Oh. That's so Bro, bad. you oh, did this. Yeah, you, see mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you did this, girl. Mm-hmm. This is this is this is fantastic. You got to. This is fantastic. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You gonna shut the internet down? Now you ain't got to. <laughs> you sure we trying to tell people to eat right? Cause this is not bad. This this is good. Eat cheesecake. You go out there and, and walk. Just awesome. order some cheesecake, right, so please. Real, for real. So, <laughs> all right. So let's say I do have a cheat day. Would it be beneficial for my cheat day to be an active cheat day? Look, this is before we get there. Okay. This is what I believe, and this is why we have cheesecake here today. Talk on a day that we're supposed to talk about health and fitness. Mm-hmm. I don't think it is possible for anybody, a normal human being, that lives nowadays in the United States to go all their life without eating anything that they're not supposed to, to eat. Yeah. I think as a trainer and a, a person that tries to educate people about food, it is more important to teach people how to be able to eat this while being healthy than to shame people and make them feel guilty every time they eat something that they're not supposed to do. You preach You cannot tell people to stop eating cheesecake forever. You're a fool if you're a trainer that thinks that your that your clients are not eating cheesecake behind your back. Yeah. They are eating. Look at their watches in the morning and you'll see the water re- retention in the in the wrists. People eat. Mm-hmm. People will eat it. You can tell when somebody has had something the night before that they were not supposed to eat. I think it's about I think it's about teaching people how to eat healthy but still good. That healthy food can still be good. That if you know your spices, that if you know different ways to eat, that it doesn't have to be chicken breast. It can perfectly be chicken thighs or it can be chicken wings sometimes. Mm-hmm. That you have to learn to eat it with other things besides the, the meat. And plan your, your days overall to make sure that when you get home, you got something to eat so that you don't just jump on the first thing you see or you don't order and plan those cheat meals. Mm -hmm. And to answer your question, yeah, I definitely think that if you're gonna do a cheat meal, it's better that that day you do something. Don't eat bad and stay in the bed all day. Right, 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 right. Try to Mm -hmm. plan it. Like you got some stuff to do. No, somebody wants to know how they can order a cheesecake. Hit me up on PR, PR Nabila Nijar. I think they tagged me. Did you tag me? You may put your uh, IG. Yeah, IG or or IG? Facebook. Yeah. yeah. Um. That was a. Uh, 
don't yeah, don't, don't don't eat um whatever and then at the same time stay in, in bed all day. Try to to try to plan it plan it on a day that you know that you're going. Mm. I don't know. Even going out, dancing or you know. Right. That's a physical activity. So yeah, it's better dance, than sitting so all day. Can't really live, yeah. And it's cheat meal, not cheat day. Don't right. spend a whole mm. Sunday eating. Yeah. Do mm. one meal. Personally what I do is throughout the week I'm very serious with my diet. Here and there, I may eat some Reese's Cups. It's my, my vice. <clears throat> but most of the time, I'm extremely serious. Now, on Saturday or Sunday, I'll do a meal that'll literally make me feel like throwing up. But one, I eat as much food as I want. Everything that I crave during the week, I eat it then. And so far, it hasn't affected me. It hasn't made me gain. Because I'm, I'm, I'm human. I'm, you know, I got to eat cheesecake. I will eat cheesecake every weekend. And pizza. Yeah. And burgers. Yeah. Every weekend. So, and, and every Monday. Every Monday. <laughs> I mean, I know. Excuse me. I just speak for myself. Uh. Listen, that cheesecake. I'm a, uh, ah, damn. I'm a seasonal heavy eater, if that makes sense. You stress eater. So it's like, cause well, it's I guess cause you know how we grew up and stuff. Like certain holidays, we know it's gonna be like a smorgasbord of food. Mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving is gonna be tons of tons of stuff that is so good but yet so bad, and we eat it for weeks, and then you go right into Christmas, and then you go right into New Year, and then like summertime you got barbecue, so it's ribs and beans. And Potatoes, it you means know, it's like meaning, so yeah. like just portion control. Like, yeah, that's what I was gonna get to because it's like, man, we eating this stuff. Then, of course, like in Mississippi and the South, football season that's oh, tailgate. tailgate, that's big. You not eating healthy on the weekend, you you drinking a lot, and you not like you drinking a lot, and you eating, you know, all type of stuff. So, I guess two things portion control and like how to combat them, like. Moderation. I think that's one of the things. I'm I think to that. Um, well, at some point you do have when it's this much, when it's this many events, when everything is an excuse to eat mm. a certain way. At some point, you also got to take responsibility of what you're doing because it's football season. Because it's this or that doesn't mean that you do have to eat every time. Mm -hmm. um, there is some work that you got to do on your own, on yourself to yeah. to limit repeating that. Throughout the year, yeah, that so, usually, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. That usually comes. It clicks with people once they get on a, a certain, not diet, but once they make some changes and start seeing how it affects their bodies and how better they feel and how they look. Mm -hmm. It clicks like, bro, I, I kind of like it. Yeah. You know, a lot of people think, especially after a certain age, men and women, they think that is absolutely normal to have heartburn, to be gassy, to have water retention, to be bloated. No, it's not. It's not normal. And when you try to eat in a way that doesn't make you feel that way, yeah. you're like, wait, so I was not supposed to be to have heartburn all the time? Mm -hmm. And you try to avoid those things that used to cause heartburn because the benefit that you get from eating yeah. that way is far overweighs what you were doing before. Mm -hmm. Now, Christmas, Thanksgiving, I'm going to ask you a question. Do you care more about the 10 pounds that you're going to gain during Thanksgiving or Christmas or the time that you're going to get to spend with everybody? I, I definitely care more about the time I get to spend with everybody, but yeah. the, the food has a lot to it, do. It does. It plays a big part in it. Listen, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So fuck it. It's once a year. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. And it, it, it happens that Thanksgiving and Christmas are pretty close to each other, so... Mm -hmm. Every time I get people that come with plans on getting healthy around that period, I don't try to discourage them. Yeah. But I don't. I tell them it, this is not the best time <coughs> to, to do that because you're just gonna get frustrated with yourself because mm -hmm. you're not gonna do it. Everybody's gonna be eating. You're gonna be the only one that's there. It takes crazy willpower to not be part of that. I ain't doing it. It's it's almost impossible. We do it as bodybuilders. I've had pretty much every Thanksgiving except this last one, I was prepping for a show. I'm sure I'm not I was leaning out. Who the fuck is we? I ain't <laughs> in, in bodybuilding. <laughs> I had four years in a row, because you know, we don't have Thanksgiving, it's, a, it's an American thing, so 
Yeah. First time I did them um, in 2017, I was like, oh, this is this is the best holiday ever. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Oh my God. Thank you. It, it is awful in what, what it commemorates. Yeah, it's horrible, it. terrible, disgusting, terrible. Mm -hmm. But oh my God, I live for Thanksgiving. I cannot wait to this Thanksgiving again. And then I learned, I mean, not seriously. I had I'm, a dark my, I'm, my eyes are getting it. teary. <laughs> God, my eyes are watering. It's just, I love Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is the greatest holiday yeah. ever. Because mm. like you get to fellowship with the people you love around, yeah. the food you love. It just, it, that, that's just, and that's one of the, especially with black folks, food is super important and how we fellowship. Food and drink mm -hmm. is super important in how we fellowship, mm -hmm. which also, you know, goes to like the health part too. Cause yeah. and that's another. I've, I'm a drink. Hard to man. Uh, Dad, are you gonna eat? I yeah, think yeah, that yeah, I'm gonna food. drink, and I think it's like how do I, how do I maintain health, fitness, and look a certain way, but still being able to like. I enjoy think that during the those days, days, during those days, it's important that. Skip everything that's not Thanksgiving or Christmas food. Skip it. Yeah. Don't don't do breakfast. Don't do wait until fast the whole day until you you start eating to try to limit things a little bit. Yeah. Um, there are also ways to cook the things a little bit differently. Huh? He hate mac and cheese. Cujo does not like me. Irrelevant. Irrelevant right now. We're not, we're not talking about that. That's toxic. You know what? That's toxic. That's toxic. <laughs> That's right. Who don't like mac and cheese? Oh my god, so despicable. Aliens. I'm with despicable. Oh my god, what you doing with the vocabulary? Thank you. Despicable. Deserves to be slapped in the back of the neck. Yes. Don't like mac and cheese. Who don't like mac and cheese? Unbelievable. Yes. Buffoon. Yeah, that's it's just crazy. But yeah, you can still cook uh, Thanksgiving food. We're against it, and I'm against it myself because I learned the the how to cook Thanksgiving food, and I use the oldest recipes I can find. Mm -hmm. And they tend to be very fatty and greasy. And I'm not gonna change it. Look. Yes. I'm, I'm not losing no, yeah. no so fat yeah. free, you know, I'm not. No, no don't change it, cause it bless me. But <laughs> in some families, you know, they do change their habits yeah. and it's, it's good as there's new people with new traditions. I mean, why not go from greens that are cooked in, in grease to, to doing every family doing yeah. their own thing. But I don't think that life is about Punishing yourself every time you do something that you're not supposed to do. Enjoy Thanksgiving and Christmas, and then get back on track every year. It's there's a lot of people that do it, and it don't hurt them. Yeah, because I, I think like I guess we'll talk more about this on the podcast. Like, and this is one of the questions I because working out ain't fun to me. Who? What's not fun? Working, working out, out. It's just not fun to me, and I don't think it's supposed to be fun. It is to some people. It's not but, to some. Maybe you need to find the activity that you like. That I mean, mm -hmm. I guess. Yeah. 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 It's just, and honestly, and I think I would, a time for me to work out would be better too. I think that's the discipline part because I should probably get up way early and work out as opposed to wait until I get out of work. Because when I get out of work, it might be that, or it might I'm gonna you might nothing. need to look into other ways to work out. I have my sister that we were talking about hates weights, mm. hates group classes, hates all of that. She rides the bike and she dances um, Latin American dance. That's her Oh, wow, right. okay. You know, that, that's what I was about to ask. Like, cause if somebody was like, well, no, I don't like going to the gym, but I love playing tennis or basketball with yeah. tennis. Yeah. It's like all you don't have suicides to go to the gym. and like, you know. <clears throat> you don't have to. Yeah. I mean, unless you want to look a certain way, unless you want your shoulders to look a certain way, your biceps yeah. to look a certain way, then you have to pump blood there to make them look like that. But if it's just about being active physically, no, you can do break dance classes or whatever, whatever. <laughs> Seriously, I know, do people still do that? People do it break yeah. With that, yeah. Anything Shout that to makes Tony you Tush. active. Shout out to Tony Tudge. I need to talk. He but you know, what happens? <laughs> what happens a lot of times though with people, <laughs> once they start getting active, like he was uh, talking about tennis, for example, you realize that to play tennis well, you need to strengthen your arms. So you start going to the gym, to the gym to work your upper body a certain way for your new skill, for tennis. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then as time goes by, you start liking other things, but you shouldn't feel bad because you don't like lifting weights. I mean, it's understandable that it's not fun to go do three sets, do four sets of 15. It's very boring for a lot of people. It's find the activity, try a lot of things and, and see what works. 
throwing axes. You're there, I don't know how long, and you're just throwing that, and you do that three times a week. That's just well, activity. It's really better than nothing. Hammer. We used to do that to strengthen your forearm. We played baseball. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I mean, they, they, it's, they it's, it's, it's better than not strong. doing anything. Bowling. Yeah. To mm-hmm. go three times a week is better. If you're not going to do anything, we might as well go bowling and do something. Just do something. Something so start. I was telling somebody because like a lot of people be. I don't, first of all, I don't know why people ask me, "Can I work out with you?" No. Because they want to work out with me. That's probably that's definitely one. Of, that's, yeah, that's definitely one of the reasons. <laughs> <Duh. I> mean, <laughs> I'm like, first of all, I'm not. I, well, I always tell them like I'm not a trainer, so I can't. I, I'm not. I can't tell you what to do. I just know what works for me. I'm blessed to know people who know more than what I know and know how to do it properly. I was lifting weights for a long time and I started working out with Peel and realized that I was doing a whole bunch of stuff not right and not all the way. So I was really cheating myself going in there, you know, the first three, four years and here I am in here three months with her and I'm looking good as a motherfucker. I'm mad as hell. <laughs> I wasted four years of my workout life. Not gaining muscle. Exactly. And so, <clears throat> to, to that particular point, because, mm-hmm. like, again, we see it all the time, just, <sighs> you can't work out with anybody. <laughs> but folks be like, every, <sighs> yeah, you can't work out with anybody. And everybody mm-hmm. want to be a, everybody want to be a trainer and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. For the people who, I wouldn't, I my thing is, I don't even recommend that people get a train. I just say, hey man, it's, you live in your neighborhood, your neighborhood free. You can get right outside and walk up and down the block. But don't say that. I'm a trainer. Yeah, get a trainer. I mean, I'm yeah, for you, but I'm saying. And a baker. Right. But, but you know, don't poke me because. You're so full. You ain't going to see I can, I can. I need, I need, I need, I need <laughs> a, I legit need a train. The no, some people do need it. And I need, yeah, I need, I need a guy to. Hey, do this. To do put this. your your foot in there. To and start specifically something. for me with you know underlining uh, you know health condition. Mm-hmm. Like, hey, this is what this is. Let's work out something that works best for me and, and and that type of thing. So, I think like, yeah, I really need a trainer and like accountability. Like, mm-hmm. if I'm paying for something, I'm gonna go. That's why a lot of people get it. You yeah. get a trainer. I'm gonna go it. do it because I ain't if you just pay for it. You go. You're not gonna. Yeah, the I ain't just gonna sit at the house and just not do nothing. Yeah. Because you know. Training, training pia is different from this pia. Well, that, that's oh, what, yeah. but that's what folks need. Uh, training. training pia don't cuss. You don't curse. And when you train, when I'm training people, no. I well, wish except, you, I except wish for a couple you did. people that I know. Well, I, I do. For I a wish you people did. I do. Like if I feel like I'm being, but you, man, you know, I, I, I work for a corporate gym. You don't play. I say that. I work for a corporate gym, so you know it's a lot oh, of yeah, things that yeah, I cannot. Yeah. But still, with with time, most of my clients become friends, and we do talk however we want to talk. And then with the very consistent, consistent, consistent ones, the ones that get to a certain level, I yeah, I am pretty rough, and I do not hide my frustration sometimes with certain things they do. That like, bro, did you? Did, is it really what you saw me do? Which is not something that I would tell somebody else. Like. If, you gotta show patience with people to teach them certain things, but with high level um, people, athletes, no, I don't like to babysit people. I will say that's when I mm-hmm. when I worked out with you during prep. Yeah. And I was like, this this is different. Like this ain't like yeah. the way we was working out a week ago. It's it's very different when you have a that show workout. I was like, I don't know. You don't, don't even want to be there. Yeah, like I got a job. I ain't got to do this. <laughs> Yeah, it's bullshit. Like, but bodybuilding is a bodybuilding is a different kind of everything that I just told you about. You don't have to let go of your social life and all that is absolutely not true with bodybuilding. With bodybuilding, you have to forget mm-hmm. that you're a human being. You're just an athlete that's prepping for a show. Mm-hmm. I was um, begged one time to go out with a group of people. I don't I don't go out when I'm prepping. I went out. When I tell you I was chewing on ice when I went out because I was two or three weeks out, I had a cup of ice and I was chewing on it. There was in my mind the option of cheating or drinking or eating. It was just not an option at all. Bodybuilding and athletes that compete is just a completely different category and it's it's not even 
bragging or anything. It's really the support that demands that kind of dedication. And yeah, you've yeah. noticed the workouts are completely different. Completely. You just get completely zoned out. It's, it's, it's different. And being on a diet that's so strict changes you and wakes up the deepest instincts that you have. Seriously, like you start. You ain't had no carbs. You getting it. You smell. You smell things more. You see food everywhere. You weigh your food and you get mad if anybody asks you for a bite because, bro, I weighed it. It's three ounces and I can't give you one. And you and friendships because somebody asking you for a fork, a fork full of food. Like, I almost broke up with a boyfriend because he ate my sweet potato during uh, <laughs> prep for a show. But yeah, if you're not in that um, mindset, enjoy life. Just be moderate with everything. It's like everything, just moderation. We're going to save our the rest of this for the podcast. Because this is good. This is good, yeah. This is really good. Um, so we got yeah. a few minutes left. All right, so we about to, uh, we got a couple minutes left. Uh, yeah, so... This Saturday at Social Bistro 21, the Vibe oh, Boys, yeah. uh, we got uh, Never on Sunday, the so. Vibe Day Party this Saturday. Uh, y'all pull up. It's from 4 to 9. Uh, shout out to my guy Preston, LeBron, uh, Asa, and Hub One. Uh, so, yeah, with the Vibe Patrols, we're going to be all up in anything this Saturday. So, y'all pull up and hang out. Ain't no cover. Just come and enjoy yourself. Nasty show in the mix too. Uh, we already got the date for the next day skate. So uh, September 18th. Uh, that's also the same weekend as uh, the Born Funny Tour uh, and all that good stuff. So y'all make sure y'all come and uh, yeah check that out. And we got a whole bunch of other stuff uh, in the pot brewing. And yeah, man, like I told y'all we home the summer, so uh, we out here. Uh, Mark, what you got coming up this month, next month? Oh, um, yeah, obviously I'll be at the uh, the Vibe Day party on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, shout out to uh, two amazing and talented, beautiful young ladies, uh, uh, Martin Nicole and uh, Allie Durr. They have a showcase at 108 President on Sunday, and so I'm a host uh, for those young ladies. Uh, you can follow either one of them and, and go and grab your tickets. I actually bought a ticket. I think tickets are on Eventbrite. <clears throat> uh, $10 tickets is not even expensive either. So, um, And it's limited seating, so it's going to be a nice little vibe. So I'll be there doing that. Um, and a bunch of other shows that I'm doing too. So just follow me on social media. Um, I'll post all the stuff I got coming up and that's really going to be the best way to keep up with everything I got going on. Also, man, y'all need to go ahead and get those tickets to the September 17th show. The comedy tour, uh, the return of Rita Brink uh, back to the Jackson area or whatever. And so that's going to be dope. The first show is actually almost sold out and we like uh, about two months away. So I definitely appreciate y'all for the support. Uh, so go and get some tickets if you're trying to come to that 7 o'clock show. Because if not, uh, you're going to have to be a delay show. So um, yeah, that's it. Pretty much. Uh, yeah, so Pia. Oh, shout out to the Young Gifford and Power podcast as well, too. Sorry, I forgot about that. Thank you, Shamika. Shout out to her. Um, yeah, we added in, so all those episodes are dry. Shout out to Jerry Jabo and B Day 99.1 FM as well. I mean, yeah, FM too. So, yeah. All right, now I'm done. Uh, yeah, shout out to the folks who bought more merch. We uh, dropped some hats. Uh, and they, oh, yeah. they were sold out. Quick, quickly. So we got more hats, more colorways coming. We got uh, buttons. We got we got some buttons. Well, I wasn't gonna tell them about it. I was just gonna throw them in the pack. But that's all good. Uh, so, so yeah, um, yeah. And then we got another uh, t-shirt drop coming Labor Day weekend. So y'all be on the lookout for that. We got a. Uh, We've been playing with some color options, but it's going to be pretty dope. Uh, and yeah, I think we also going to release the sweatshirt at the same time. So y'all go ahead and get prepped up because it's going to be for fall. So you can go ahead and get them joints. Um, Pia, let the folk know how they can uh, get in contact with you. You can find me on Instagram, Pia from the Motherland. Um, on Facebook, Pia, it's my my name is so. Just start typing Pia. I'm sure 
Yeah. Y'all be friends. It's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's not that many here, and we're friends that come, but it's P and a B on that jar, so whatever. Mm. But start typing P, y'all, and you'll see. It should be. Am I naked on my picture? No, it's just my face. Yeah. But, uh,. Oh, I'm gonna change it. But this bitch is on there. It's <laughs> no, the, the risk gave with the but I'm, uh, is on there. But yeah, it's you recognize me. Yeah, or I'm, sure uh, I'm at Crunch. I work at Crunch Fitness on County Line. Yeah. I'm there most of the time, but I'm busy. Um. <laughs> but you can go there and ask for me, or come talk to me while I'm there doing something. I don't mind. And we can talk about we can schedule meetings or um, we can schedule consultations on social on um, social media too. Most people actually reach out to me through social media for consultations. Do you do like any virtual training or nutrition plans? I do not because I have an exclusive contract with Crunch, but it's it, it is in my future plans. Yeah, okay. I can only train per contract at Crunch okay. in person. Cool. Yeah. And uh, hit her up in her inbox. So y'all about the it. cakes too. I do diabetic friendly cakes, um, vegan cakes, gluten free. This is just blessing. Um, or auntie cakes, like mm -hmm. the regular full fat, full sugar. It's diabetic, my favorite to make. Diabetic, friendly diabetic, cakes. diabetic cakes. So you basically diabetic trying friendly. To be, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we uh, uh, thank y'all. <laughs> Pia <laughs> make a <laughs> <laughs> That sounds so good. Yeah, 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, so I got to go. I can't. Bye. Yeah, so yeah. Bye. Just dropping Thursday. Bye. 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 Bye.